Hello all. In today's video we will examine the possibility that the so-called New World Order is another conspiracy theory that is convenient for some rich people or political or religious groups so as to justify their decisions or actions. Let's go! Hello Laz. The idea of a New World Order NWO, is often portrayed as a shadowy conspiracy theory suggesting that a secretive and powerful elite is plotting to control the world through a centralized global government. However, examining this claim through a critical lens reveals that it is more likely another example of a conspiracy theory rather than a credible threat. This perspective is supported by several key factors, including the lack of concrete evidence, the implausibility of such a large-scale conspiracy, and the socio-political context in which these theories often arise. Firstly, the evidence supporting the New World Order theory is largely anecdotal and speculative. Proponents of the NWO theory frequently cite ambiguous statements by political leaders, symbols on currency, or isolated historical events as proof of a global conspiracy. However, these pieces of evidence are often taken out of context or misinterpreted. Rigorous, peer-reviewed research fails to corroborate the existence of a coordinated effort by a global elite to establish a world government. Instead, what is often presented as evidence tends to be speculative and lacking in substantive, verifiable proof. Secondly, the logistics of orchestrating and maintaining such a vast conspiracy are implausible. For a global conspiracy to succeed, it would require the cooperation and silence of countless individuals across different governments, organizations, and sectors worldwide. History has shown that maintaining secrecy on such a large scale is extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible. Leaks, whistleblowers, and internal dissent are common even in smaller, tightly controlled operations. The idea that a global conspiracy could remain hidden from public scrutiny for decades stretches the bounds of credibility. Moreover, conspiracy theories like the New World Order often emerge during times of significant social and political upheaval. They serve as a way for people to make sense of complex and unsettling changes in the world. The rapid pace of globalization, technological advancements, and shifts in geopolitical power can create feelings of uncertainty and anxiety. Conspiracy theories provide a simplistic explanation for these changes, attributing them to the machinations of a malevolent elite rather than recognizing the multifaceted and often chaotic nature of global events. This psychological need for clarity and control in the face of uncertainty can make conspiracy theories appealing, despite their lack of factual basis. Additionally, the narrative of a new world order often relies on anti-Semitic, xenophobic, and other discriminatory tropes. Historically, such conspiracy theories have targeted marginalized groups, fostering division and scapegoating. This aspect further undermines the credibility of the NWO theory, as it perpetuates harmful stereotypes and distracts from addressing real issues in society. In conclusion, the notion of a new world order is best understood as a conspiracy theory rather than a legitimate threat. The lack of solid evidence, the impracticality of coordinating such a vast conspiracy, and the socio-political context in which these theories arise all point to the conclusion that the New World Order is a construct of speculative imagination rather than an imminent reality. Recognizing this can help individuals focus on addressing tangible problems and fostering a more informed and rational discourse about global events. So what do you think? Is the so-called New World Order just another conspiracy theory? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, so, this is Lazarus from Greece. Hope you liked this video. If so, please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe!